welcome back to Weddy TV. It's springtime and we're heading out in search of some oarfish, John Dory and anything else that might swim in front of us. Today we're heading out on Dan's boat. This is an absolutely fantastic boat this one. Is it a squid? How do I kill it? The day started off perfect. Sophie managed to shoot a squid straight away when she got in the water. Out on the weed edge, something caught my eye on the bottom. The visibility was okay, probably around about eight meters, but we weren't diving particularly deep, so that was fine. It looks like it's a sea anchor that's been dropped overboard by some fish -os. But I'm just going to check the weed edge and see if there's any fish before picking it up and taking it to the surface. There's a bit of bait action going on and it looks quite good for finding a John Dory or a boarfish. Although boarfish and John Dory don't particularly feed on the same stuff, they do tend to hang in similar areas. We're looking for a weed edge where the weed sort of meets the sand. They're not just restricted to these areas, but it's a good starting point. The John Dory will be feeding on the small bait fish that hang around these weed edge areas, whereas boarfish will gather up during spawning season and feed on worms in the sand. Sometimes you can even spot where a boarfish has been by the divots in the sand. You can get a little bit confused between that being created by stingray or boarfish, but once you know what it looks like, you can find them. After hauling that big thing up from the bottom, which was actually more difficult than I anticipated, fortunately I've got my float boat that I can chuck it in and store it to get it back to the boat so it's not left in the ocean. Sophie on her very next dive gets something else we were looking for, a nice trevally, which will make some great sashimi that night. Back down on the bottom, now I'm looking for a few different things when I'm diving a weed edge to hope for predators or for boarfish. I'm looking for bait fish. I'm looking for a little bit of current, which you'll be able to tell by the way the weed is moving. Heading along here, I can see there's not much bait fish. It doesn't look like there's a lot of current. I can't see any divots in the sand from the boarfish feeding. So I'm actually not gonna rest on the bottom. I'm going to keep swimming along the bottom until I find something good. It becomes a big waste of energy and time if you're swimming to the bottom, trying to get a big bottom time in a wrong area. If there's no fish, there's no fish. All of a sudden, I stumble across a nice looking spot. You can see all these small trevally and small snapper in the school. These are perfect tucker for a John Dory. With a broken bottom like this, you sometimes can get boarfish and John Dory hiding next to the pieces of kelp. With all these small fish, it was looking really promising.
fish like hanging around fish, which I know sounds stupid, but that's something you're looking for. Congregations of all sorts of species. I do my best to spiral around on the way to the bottom. I'm not racing to the bottom to get there. It's very, very easy for me to miss something that's hanging next to the kelp. I'm working out which direction I want to face when I get to the bottom and jackpot. Here's a nice John Dory trying to make a slow escape. real slowly for ages. What's it like? I spiraled around really slowly for ages because I thought there'd be some chasing the school fish. Yeah. It's a big one. There's not a lot of tidal push yet out on the weed edge. So while Sophie's still working that, I'm going to head in shallow and see if I can find a snapper. Here there seems to be a little bit of current picking up. I've gone to the up current side of this rock, found where all the bait fish are hanging out, and as we discussed, like out on the weed edge, the same applies for snapper. I'm taking my time here as it looks really promising. be hard to know in these situations when you want to commit and actually make a dive because sometimes you might dive too early or too late and spook the fish. I feel like I'm getting the optimal point on this rock and as I come over I must have spooked that small snapper there and he's not sure where I am. A perfect kill shot, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pull that back over the top of the rock. Try and make as little commotion as possible, because you never know, there might be some more fish there. Not particularly big, but a good eating size. Back out where the weed meets the sand. This is looking a little bit more promising. I can feel a little bit more of a current push. I can tell that by how the kelp's lying flat on the bottom. A big school of blue mau mau is a good sign as well. Blue mau mau will often hang in the best fishy spot. I get the call from Sophie, and this is something to think of with your dive buddies. When you hear someone yell something, first thing I always tend to do is just dive, because they're probably telling you about something that they've just seen or just shot. 
So rather than asking too much from Sophie, I make a dive. And sure enough, I spot a ball fish sitting on the bottom. It pays to react really quickly when your dive buddy is giving you good information. This boarfish was hanging in a likely spot. You can see the kelp there being pushed by the current. It's facing into the current, hanging around with all those blue mau mau and those small bait fish. As it turns out, when I asked Sophie, there was a mob of them sitting there. How did you miss it? How did you miss it? I fucking didn't miss it! The red top! Oh, it must have been the male, was it? It was huge, didn't it? I, I hit a rock, I think. Oh, I oh really? And it took my feet for a rock, and then I put some real light out. Alright, oh, was there two of them, was there? Three! Oh, was there? Fuck! I didn't see any more. I just saw that one, but dive down, have another look. That's a good kegger. Who got the good key? Damn, I'm sick. Warp speed over here. That's a big one. Oh, and a squid! Yeah, that's the Sophie's first pop. Oh, yeah. That's actually a decent score getting a sea anchor. Yeah, pretty chill swimming up with that. Yeah, I bet. Looking to be a great summer and I'm sure there's going to be plenty more boarfish to come.